Welcome to L.A. Theater. Tonight, after the Earth is destroyed by a natural disaster, NASA scientist Alex Cord awakens in the 22nd century in Genesis 2. Dylan Hunt. My story begins the day on which I died. My last look at my world was to be from inside a pressure chamber at NASA's underground laboratory in Carlsbad Caverns. Support system readout, please. Support system channel 5. Support system readout, good. Stand by on EEG. Stand by on All set? Nearly. Check telemetry, will you? Ready to go. Thank you. Well, it's your last chance, Dylan. I can still have a girl waiting here to revive you. I don't think NASA's ready for that method yet. I wish they were. Good luck. See you Tuesday. All systems indicate green. the development of a form of suspended animation which would allow our astronauts to make longer voyages through our solar system. It had been my decision that our method was ready to test on a human, so it seemed that any risk should be mine too. I had guided the basic research since being appointed chief of the project on February 14, 1979. I arrived from Washington, D.C. on the newly completed underground sub-shuttle. Perhaps my confidence in our experiment dated from that trip. Within five years of developing a nuclear drilling device, the sub-shuttle now bridged its first continent. It seemed to me that mankind's ingenuity was capable of anything. What about there? Okay. Thanks for letting me watch. That's right. Okay, thank you. Oh, uh, remember, now, I want to hold that meeting as soon as I get back. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> well, at least the war scare did some good. They finally recognized that surface and air transport's gotten too vulnerable. Well, let's hope that with the Chinese alliance working so well, you people will soon be out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't say that I mind. Yeah, looks like humanity's finally growing up. Carlsbad, six minutes. Arriving Carlsbad in six minutes. Continental Defense Command in Carlsbad Caverns had permitted NASA to build our laboratory in a deep grotto where constant temperatures were ideal for our experiments. By mid-year, we had slowed the aging process in test animals to the equivalent of less than one day for every 10 years of sleep. Our problem in reviving the animals was solved when we discovered a strong relationship between the will to survive and the need to reproduce. After the inevitable jokes over the possibility of male and female astronaut teams, massive injections of brain stimulants were found to work as well. By every measurement we knew of, 
the experiment should have gone perfectly. What we did not know was that a fault, a flaw, existed in the rock strata directly over our heads and that the slightest ground tremor would be enough to dislodge it. Preserved. He must have been a handsome man. Primus, the flesh is soft. He breathes. He's alive. We must get him out of here. Quickly get something to put him on.
many days. He believes that we are of his century. He's wondering who we are. A rock fall buried this whole section of the caverns. They gave up looking for you a long time ago. It is the year 2133. Here. Say here. 2133. Intravenous, to inject. Inject an alien substance into his body? Drug. The drug in the brain excitement. Drug. There is nothing like that here. same question each day. Don't you remember? Do you remember being found? This is the year 21... Uh, 2133. Good Lord. Do you remember how I've cared for you? Hundred fifty-four years. What is this place? They call themselves packs. Peace. To fool others. 
Actually, they're descendants of the soldiers who made war from here. You keep saying they. You. You're not Pax? You must promise not to give me away. I was sent here and pretended to join them so that I can warn others who Pax might attack. This has effects much like the medicines you called for. Going through your old medical books, I discovered how to make their equivalent for mutated plants my people use. So they put you in my care. Mutated? The bomb? And we did have war. That was long ago. It's only history now. What happened? There are some new forms of life. But you'll find you nothing to fear. Unless you fear me. I'm a mutant. We Trainians have two hearts. Greater strength. Superior to humans in almost every way. You don't say. As security primus, it is my duty to voice my concern, Isaac. The man from the past has been in Lyra Asker for 15 days now. Yes, I have seen him daily, and each time I've seen him, he's grown stronger. But everything he learns of us and our world is from the lips of a Tyrannian. From a fellow member of Pax, Ivan. Like many others, she left her people, took our oath freely. Oh, Isaac, an oath means nothing to a mutant. But Lyra R is only half mutant. Her mother was as human as yours or mine. But Primus, when she lived in Tyrannia, my agents found no evidence of humanity in her. However, we owe her our gratitude. Now, the man from the past is alive. More than simply a man from the past, a scientist. His brain contains knowledge that would take the world centuries to discover again. All the more reason they must be separated the moment he no longer needs her care, Isaac. I must regretfully support Primus Yulof in this. We must remember her people practice deceit as a virtue and believe only Primus. in Primus! Excuse me, Primus. The man from the past is out of his quarters. He's with Lyra Ah. Communications equipment from the old military storage room. Deeper in the caverns, they have armory workshops, gunsmiths. I'll find a way later to show you those. Good Lord, Van Gogh, Botticelli, Rembrandt. It's incredible. They've looted the whole world. No one is safe from them. Well, they sure show a lot of taste in what they steal. Lyra, when they were wheeling me here, I'm sure I remember hearing singing. Children singing. Perhaps it was a dream you were having. No one sings here without being ordered to. What is the power source? Your old nuclear generators still operate. Fortunately for the world, Pax doesn't fully understand the principle. <sighs> Sunlight. A whole new medicine for you. Look, 
Every way in or out of here is watched constantly. Where are we? If we're above the caverns here, then... It's gone. The highway. The airport. There's a river now. Lyra, oh, what else is gone? I mean, how much did the bombs destroy? Less than it was believed would happen. For many years of fighting, each side feared the death bombs of the other too much. When they were finally used, the scientists revolted. <laughs> then at last we did show some guts, hmm? But the ancestors of Pax then took power. Many scientists were killed as traitors. Your teachers and technicians tried to save them in a great frenzy of killing began. Without scientists and teachers, your machines began to rust. Men began to fight for water and food. Your great technology had been too... Too complex, too fragile. You know. Without oil, the wheels stop. Without wheels, the factories stop. Without factories, food transport stops. Earth isn't finished, Dylan. It's only different. In some ways, perhaps even better. Oh, I was hoping to welcome you to our century in a different fashion, Dylan Hunt. I am Primus Kimbridge, who found you, and this is Primus Ulof. Yes, PAX security chief. Lyra R. told me I've been meeting you. All PAX is grateful for the care she has given you. But unfortunately now, she has other duties equally pressing. I must respect Primus Yulof's authority. We have so many questions to ask you. The first question must be, what Lira A has told you of Pax? Why? Is there something I'm not supposed to know? We are naturally concerned with the knowledge you carry. You are not unlike a death bomb yourself. The power of your knowledge could have great value. But it could also destroy us all. We hope you will use it in our cause once you understand us fully. I think you'll find him a fairly quick study. I'm Harper Smythe. I have been assigned Lyra Oz duties. That's a tall order. There is a girl under that. What importance is that? Would the shape of my liver or pancreas interest you? Perhaps. I hate surprises. I know why you ask that. Because all the people in your century were ruled by lust. I thought you were taking over my nurse's duties. Lyra R. always tucked me in. You are a scientist and yet you do not understand that lust destroyed your world. That is an interesting theory. It is a fact. Most of your world's problems were caused by aggression between male and female. Your own Saint Freud warned you about... Saint Sigmund Freud? A weakness which kept even your leaders from clear thought and wisdom. Thus, in the end, it was animal lust that caused your civilization to fall. Just how many of you people feel this way? Great part of Pax is the unisex persuasion. Outside, of course, primitives and barbarians continue in the same old errors. Oh. Well, um, thank heaven I'm safe here. Good night. Well, I've had better. Neither is injured. Yulof now suspects why I'm here. I must leave. Can you get us both out of here? If you're willing to risk it. I was hoping you'd say that. Where are we going? To the freest, most beautiful place on Earth, if you wish. 
my city, Terrania. Ooh, 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 fires a dart which causes unconsciousness. So they did go on to cover the world with it. Yes. The sub shuttle is Tax's greatest weapon. From here the teens can go anywhere, attacking and murdering. Get in. Here. I'll get clearance for it. Dart they hit you with. Little hypo. This doesn't make them seem very bloodthirsty. It's only because they wanted you alive. I've set it to stop at an old maintenance station, which is the closest the sub shuttle comes to Terrania. From here, we travel above ground. Can't Pax trace this car to here? No. I'm sending it on to the siding tube. breed our horses. Their ancestors live in the city which was destroyed here. You call the region Arizona. It's called the position of respect, which also makes it much more difficult for them to put a lance in our backs. You have much to learn about Earth as it is now, Dylan Hunt. Don't be afraid. It's all right. The fortress now, controlled by warlord.
like the Earth has been given a second chance. Blue skies. Clear water. Fish. Game. What else? Much more. My century has many surprises for you. nuclear generator plant. Where's your city? Well over a day's ride, yeah. We're not as fortunate as Pax. It's beginning to fail. Perhaps the distance to our city makes it weaker. Do you understand such things? Uh, more likely the nuclear core elements need rearranging. must have been gone a long time, and yet no one is surprised to see you. We would consider that undignified. Who are they? They're called our helpers. Where do they come from? Some of them from far away. It's considered an honor to be here. These are supplicants who have come here hoping to be accepted as helpers. The two are Carolinian scholars. You'd do well to avoid the woman's country, Dylan. Males are tolerated there only as pets. Stim. My people believe it confers dignity. This is my guest, Dylan Hunt. He is to be treated as a Terranian. Astrid will show you to your quarters. I must prepare a proper welcome for you. It was quite simple to win the trust of most of them, and I could soon go where I wished. But when the man from the past was discovered, I realized this to be of even greater importance than my study of their sub-shuttle system. This human could also be a clever trick. A spy planted here. No. I saw him found. He's a scientist of old Earth with a knowledge of machines that fly, of old weapons, and of nuclear fusion. 
I will require more time to win his full loyalty. As a mere human, he is, of course, ruled by his emotions and superstitions. Then he must be trained as with all humans. I am certain he will help us freely if he feels at ease among us. I ask that all in Terrania must be commanded to help me convince him of our friendship. Agreed. But we must soon see evidence that he's willing to serve us. If not, he's to be placed in training school. <laughs> Don't cut it too close, Astrid. She's done very well. Shall we serve food now, mistress? Yes, I'm starving. Get me my robe. Please, Dylan, sit down. I'll be with you in a moment. Take my hair down, Astrid. If you don't see a delicacy you would like, just ask, and they'll get it for you. You see, our nuclear generator plant grows weaker almost with each day. Repairing it will win you all Terrania's friendship. What continues to trouble you, Dylan? That they serve us so well? their damned eagerness to please. They love us, just as an animal pet returns love given it. They're humans, Lyra. Uh. Astrid, are you happy here? Happy, Master? I was ill and starving until I came here. They're fortunate humans, Dylan, and they recognize it. I'm Dr. Callum, Pax, and this is Singh, Team Communications. And you are the favorite man from the past, who swallowed every lie that his first mutant tried on him. We've heard that you're repairing their nuclear generator tomorrow. Why? Is, is there some objection to their city having a reliable power supply, too? Have you not seen this is evil place? It was a few doubts that brought me out looking around tonight. But I'm not exactly in love with your aunt Hill, either. So it is true what she told that council. She used your illness to keep you secluded. You saw practically nothing of Pax. Pax was founded by people alive in your time. People who revolted against the great conflict. They took over the caverns to preserve the books, music and art and, and decent ideals for when the world might try to rebuild again. Then why the secret teams of agents everywhere? Are you asking me to believe you're here illustrating good books and culture? Come oh, show you why this team is here. Move on! Move on! 
Buffon! Faster! Faster! Buffon! Buffon! Slave City beneath city. Those are new helpers. Recently captured. This is what one pack team is doing. Two of us have already died planning a rebellion. If necessary, all of us will if we can save them. And several thousand like them. Here's why these New England fishermen take Alka-Seltzer Plus. You will find it profitless to lie to us human. Will you repair our nuclear generator? Yes or no? Now you listen to me. I came into your century ill, and that's been used against me very cleverly. But I'm not sick now, and I'm getting tired of being pushed around. You don't understand what this means. Tell them you'll join us gladly. And I've had the last advice I want from you, Florence Nightingale. Training is decreed. Human, welcome to the ranks of the helpers. Take the position of respect and express gratitude. It'll be a cold day in hell when I kneel at your feet. That was the lightest pain setting. There are eight higher. You will take the position of respect. <laughs> The position of respect, human. Unusual. I've had to use the seventh setting. In the next moment should be even more effective. is capable of pleasure or do you prefer the final level of pain uses sonics, wavelengths that stimulate the brain's pain and pleasure centers. We invented that? Oh, yes. It was used to control troops and civilian populations. Oh, training schools. Just pray that you will never be inside one. Teachers, back to training school, quickly. Do whatever we ask. <laughs> Is this the human from the past? Yes, Master. Harnan, I will exchange you three female students for him. He interests me. Oh, Master, I love you. I love Terania. I thank you for taking me in as a help. 
Janos, Janos, you said that yesterday. Up, Janos. Yes. Show the new student how cooperative we become here. But tell, tell me, tell me how else to please you. Please help me, please. It's a helper's duty to find ways. You must constantly be thinking of ways. You'll find this interesting, human. No physical injury. You can't die. But you will wish to. Master! It's in the storage area. The others are waiting there. Smile. You ought to wear a skirt more often. What in the devil are you doing here? We were sent here to tell you to forget. We? Collins was sent also. But he was killed in a blight in ambush this morning. Collins, good man. Good team leader. We were sent here to tell you to forget the revolt. To use all your efforts to find Dylan Hunt and get him safely away from here. Forget human slaves? They can't order that. Two of us have already given our lives to get us this close to the revolt. And now, Collins? How close? We are ready just as soon as we can locate where the mutants store their stims. Well, then I'm not going anywhere, gentlemen. <laughs> the Terranians getting a dose of their own stims? I don't want to see that. Listen to me, Dylan Hunt. If Pax orders us to forget the revolt and get you out of here, then that's the way it will be. Pax doesn't own me, Doc. Please! A revolt is not possible now. Lyra R saw me crossing their mall this morning, and I'm sure she recognized me. Only a glimpse of her. But I'm certain it was a female I knew at Pax. I mean, she's either with a Pax team or joining one here. Any helper who finds them will be rewarded with a maid. And a week of stem sent for pleasure. You'll have them before dark, business. About six months ago, I was using this very same circuit. What am I talking about? 154 years ago. <laughs> Pax has good communications equipment from your century, Dylan. Cavern storage was ideal for electronics. Sundown in three hours. Hurry. All right, then. It's time to leave. Doctor, if you'll just give me a few more minutes with this equipment, I'll have it ready to... We need this time to get through the tunnels. You come. Singh tells me you were a white Comanche warrior, Isaiah. A leader of your tribe. But I am of Pax now, and sworn to obey. Did you swear to forget everything you know about tactics? About warfare? The Tyranians will be watching every exit. They know your team is here, and you know how badly they want me. We need the revolt as a diversion. We must leave. Now look, I never met anyone in my life I wanted to fight less than him. But I promise you I will. That's how strongly I feel about this. Dylan, the antenna's directional now. The other receiver can be adjusted in exactly the same way. 
And with enough stim stored together, we'll pick up a signal from 30 or 40 meters away. Are you certain of all this? Yes. you've got there, helper. He brings me an ancient device I wish to study. You also lied to me about Pax. What do you want from me this time? Perhaps my human half doesn't want you broken in training. What does the Tyrrhenian half want? I need the status here that you cost me. Repair our nuclear generator. Unwatched. And I'll help you escape afterwards. Lyra, ah, this device says you lie. Do you think I'm a fool? That's one of the old radios used by Pax. But it has other uses your sentry hasn't learned. I'll prove it to you. Tell me your name. Lyra, ah, of course. No signal. You spoke the truth. Do you love Terrania? Yes. Do you love me, Lyra? Don't be a fool. But mistakes are a small interest. Capable of feeling love as you understand it. Dylan, I don't know. But I can't love you. I'd be human then. I'd be weak and foolish like them. That's why I'm superior. I know self interest is the natural order of life. My own welfare must. Are you sure? Yes. Really? Yes. 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 It's much stronger now. Somewhere. We don't have 
Looks like it opens along here. I saw it. Hope you're as strong as you look. Get a grip here. between us and the old Phoenix station, Dylan. Is there another one? That leaves only the maintenance station where Lyra brought you in. Very bad. Tyrrhenians know that one. It's risky. They know you came in this way. Does not feel good. There's way in from side.
inside. I can save your life a third time if I can talk to you privately. Dilly, the sub shuttle door is closed. The door control circuit is missing. Messiah, see if you can force the doors. Unbolt this door! Messiah! I've got to hear what she has to say. Don't trust her, Dylan. Don't believe her. Unbolt You know what will happen to them if they're caught? What do you want? The power station. Or this time, my people will destroy me, too. Again, Harlan. It's beginning to give. With this, your friends can escape. Be ready to close the door. Bye, Lira. Uh, thank you. Now! No! As we know, six days ago, the man from the past unfortunately agreed to repair the Turanian nuclear generator. But he agreed to help them in order to save the lives of the team who rescued him. Because of this, Dominic was asked to immediately dispatch a second team to the area. Pranay, I have just received a report from that team. I'm afraid it's much worse than was feared. They have discovered a missile site which, with full generator power, they will be able to use against us. These missiles are capable of carrying a bomb designed to penetrate and destroy soldiers who once fought from here. We have a few weeks, perhaps, before they learn to use them. No more. Forgive me. I have a matter to investigate. We must make immediate plans to get all our people to safety. What is it coming from? The Tucsonian station. But very erratically. It'll never stop at that speed. Emergency stop. I wondered if it could be you. Thanks for stopping that thing. The fact you are safe pleases us. Primus, you do know what I did. We've had a complete report. Primus, Cambridge, and the Council are most anxious to meet with you. Please get in. On the way, let me show you a Pax you haven't seen yet. are breaking away from the old unisex beliefs. Would it surprise you to know that Pax Stern Security Primus approves? It was our dream to preserve the best from the past. Let the worst be forgotten. There's so much more. Our new form of gymnastic ballet. Artists who paint with light. New poetry. The libraries, the paintings, the ideals you people represent. I'm very happy I had a chance to save it. Save it? By using the warhead I found there when I realized they were studying it. You said you had a full report. Didn't your sentinel see the flash this evening? Primus, 
I set a nuclear warhead on a delayed fuse. It should have lit up the whole sky. The Sentinels reported nothing. But that's impossible. I thought you were showing me all this. Oh, you? What we have to lose? The mutants needed their generator repaired, not for their city, but for an old missile site they have discovered. But that's exactly what I'm talking about. It should have blown up. Can we check with your Sentinels? understand what could have gone wrong. I'm going back. You escaped from them twice before. If they captured you I've this got time... to save what you have here. It's my only link with my world. Dylan! We're all very pleased you're safe, but also very frightened. Primus, I've got to go back. Got she you. tried to set off the warhead at their generator, but something went wrong. Your only chance now is if I can blow up that missile silo. I'll need a team. First, you must understand a few things about Pax. She was going back to the city. If she was being honest with me, she's safe. Dylan Hunt. There's a question we must ask you. Did you take lives? A couple of technicians, certainly. More if they were there hooking power to the silos. There were thousands of lives at stake, right here. If we trade one life for a thousand, couldn't we justify a hundred for more? Perhaps ten thousand for still more? That same reasoning destroyed your world, Dylan Hunt. I... I've just saved everything you've fought over 150 years for. If you join us, Dylan Hunt, you must swear to give your life or any of our lives rather than take another. Well, I'm not sure I've got that kind of guts, Primus. We all must. This time. Forgive me, Primai. We heard there were so many stars visible tonight. And yes. my little brother... Yes, yes. Beautiful. They should be enjoyed.
Welcome to L.A. Theater. Tonight, after the Earth is destroyed by a natural disaster, NASA scientist Alex Cord awakens in the 22nd century in Genesis 2. Dylan Hunt. My story begins the day on which I died. My last look at my world was to be from inside a pressure chamber at NASA's underground laboratory in Carlsbad Caverns. Support system readout, please. Support system channel 5. Support system readout, good. Stand by on PPT. Stand by on PPT. All set. Nearly. Check telemetry, will you? Ready to go. Thank you. Well, it's your last chance, Dylan. I can still have a girl waiting here to revive you. I don't think NASA's ready for that method yet. I wish they were. Good luck. See you Tuesday. All systems indicate green. the development of a form of suspended animation which would allow our astronauts to make longer voyages through our solar system. It had been my decision that our method was ready to test on a human, so it seemed that any risk should be mine too. I had guided the basic research since being appointed chief of the project on February 14, 1979. I arrived from Washington, D.C. on the newly completed underground sub-shuttle. Perhaps my confidence in our experiment dated from that trip. Within five years of developing a nuclear drilling device, the sub-shuttle now bridged its first continent. It seemed to me that mankind's ingenuity was capable of anything. We're about there. Okay. Thanks for letting me watch. That's right. Okay, thank you. Oh, uh, remember now, I want to hold that meeting as soon as I get back. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. <clears throat> well, at least the war scare did some good. They finally recognized that surface and air transport's gotten too vulnerable. Well, let's hope that with the Chinese alliance working so well, you people will soon be out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't say that I mind. Yeah, it looks like humanity's finally growing up. Carlsbad, six minutes. Arriving Carlsbad in six minutes. Continental Defense Command in Carlsbad Caverns had permitted NASA to build our laboratory in a deep grotto where constant temperatures were ideal for our experiments. By mid-year, we had slowed the aging process in test animals to the equivalent of less than one day for every 10 years of sleep. Our problem in reviving the animals was solved when we discovered a strong relationship between the will to survive and the need to reproduce. 
After the inevitable jokes over the possibility of male and female astronaut teams, massive injections of brain stimulants were found to work as well. By every measurement we knew of, the experiment should have gone perfectly. What we did not know was that a fault, a flaw, existed in the rock strata directly over our heads, and that the slightest ground tremor would be enough to dislodge it. Green light went on inside. Nuke bad. Oh. Nuclear battery power. It had been developed by the year this rock slide occurred, Primus. The bolts are freed. Inside pressure must be holding the door closed. Body must have been preserved by some sort of gas in there. Ganymede Project, Xenon Pressure Chamber. Do you see emergency decompress 